I here to talk about a little bit about the race car. We win the world Delara specifically, but all IR cars are basically the same, which is a Delara. Start at the rear wing here. The rear wing in Indianapolis is a little bit special in the sense that there are parameters that it has to fit within. However, you can adjust the angle. The angle of the rear wing is very critical for downforce. Obviously, the more wing angle, the more nose down, as they call it, you have it. The more downforce you have, the less wing nose down. The faster for qualifying. You can't race in traffic like that. But that's the whole idea. So when we go to qualify, you'll see these wings laid back in the negative position actually. Underneath is actually an underbody. All Indy cars for the last two generations, two decades, have actually been ground effects, which means the whole car is actually like an airplane wing. Only it's upside down. Instead of trying to lift it off the ground, it's actually trying to pull it to the See that the rear suspension, everything is inside. And the reason they tuck it all inside is for aerodynamic purposes. So the car is more efficient, faster, and it produces more downforce. You don't see any springs or shocks, everything is all tucked up underneath here where the transmission is, which is in the back of the car, the engine. They call it a mid engine, which the engine would sit right underneath here, the Honda V8 engine. And it runs on ethanol, um, which I know you all have been hearing about. Uh, with uh, the E85. Up here is the in-car camera. The in-car camera actually is on the car right now. This is where it's placed. All participants will see this on every car in the Indianapolis 500. And the reason is, is because aerodynamically, obviously, it changes the car. They want everybody to be the same. So if you have an in-car camera or don't, it all comes out the same. If you don't have an in-car camera, you actually have to still carry the weight of the in-car camera, even if you don't have one. So they try to keep everything in sequence possible. If you want to swing around here, we look down inside and we, we have inside what we call is the cockpit. And in the cockpit, you'll even see down, way down inside here, there's actually weight bags. These weight bags simulate me as the driver. And um, it's so that when they're weighing the car and doing all the things with the car, without me being here, they can actually show that it's here. The steering wheel is actually pretty complicated for a NASCAR guy. Um, there's so many things on here. Actually, on the, on the back side are paddles, and these are up and down shifters. The right side goes up, the other side goes down shift. On the bottom is your push to pass on this steering wheel, and over here is your radio talk button so you can talk to your crew. Down here is uh, that you can adjust your rev limiter. Here is your fuel reset. So on a pit stop, you reset your fuel, which you, re you actually read how much fuel you're burning here. Your lap time on speed will be here. Down here, you have um, the page mode, so if you want to change what settings you have up here, you can actually push this up and down. This is a driver comfort thing. This is just a drink button. Up here is your pit lane button. When you push that button, it actually keeps the car um, in first or second gear. The pit lane button will keep the car at underneath 60 miles an hour as long as you're underneath 60 miles an hour when you push this. This is when you hear the cars go down pit road and they're stuttering. That's the pit road speed limiter. Over here is your dial. All you have is two mixtures. One is for race, which is one, or caution, which is eight. It actually saves fuel. Here are your rev lights. These lights will, will start shining up and tell you when to shift. And right in this little window here, it tells you whether, what gear you're in, whether neutral, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. There's six speeds in these gears. To go to neutral, you actually have to push this button, pull this gear lever back, be in first or second gear at the time you do it, and then the car will go to neutral. A lot of things inside the system that keeps you busy, I can tell you that. At least from my standpoint, we're in NASCAR, we have no cockpit adjustments. There's other things inside the car too where you can adjust your anti roll bars, front end back. And so there's plenty of things that you can work on during a race while you're still the racing. And then when you come to pit, if you want to change, make sure that, hey, I want to be back to where I was. Over here we have the Winter World front wing, which the assembly goes right down on here. But the final thing that I'm going to show you is this, which is the final aspect of what goes in the car. And this is basically the head pad. This is going to pop the cockpit and the driver obviously sits in here. These are all mandated. This is a crushable foam structure. And these are too as well. All this is mandated by the IRL to protect your head. So now you have a quick look at the Window World Delar Indy car. Hope you enjoy it.